Okay, before I continue on, I remembered that I picked up a key from one of those fatties. And my first guess would be this gate here, which I thought was going to be a shortcut. And it still may be. I may have just missed it. But, and then there's one more door that I've got in my notes that's just right back here. Boom. Sweet. Okay. I bet I'm sure this leads down to the item that I could see um, where the merchant was. Like under the dragon bridge. Thought I heard a crystal lizard. Oh, there's that crystal lizard. And another key. Maybe that's the one to the gate up. The first gate that I went to. <laughs> yes, this is definitely the item. Tower shield. I'm assuming that's the Tower Knight shield. And yet again, feels like an old friend, even though. Seeing as I, I never really use a strength character in the other Souls games, I never get much use out of that. Oh, hey. Yeah, I've got that armor. Yeah, I've got those pants on. I think. Yeah. Killed that blooded sluggard for me. I'm called Bior, the elder of the twin fangs of Boletaria. I thank you. You deserve a handsome you. reward. And we have none. <laughs> Go on ahead. I shall sleep a while. Oh. It's the spiritual origin of Siegmeier, or Siegward, both. He had a sweet mustache, too. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna try this. Still a sleepy boy. Okay, maybe I can find him somewhere else. I'm gonna go back and try that other gate now. Excellent. <laughs> Lots of paths. That's pretty. <laughs> that door, I've not taken many notes in this game. That door that the first key opened was one of them. And the only other one I've got is the door in the very first area where the the blue knight the first blue knight spear boy was huh. 
I need to go back and check it. Ring of the Accursed. I think I already have that. Yes, I definitely I got that from the assassin lady. Okay. Pretty cool. something. This is a very detailed, this is a, like a, this bridge and this view and this castle here. seems too cool to only have a few items in it. I, I wonder if there's more secrets there, if, like diff depending on world tendency or something. Well, which I haven't went the other way yet, but that, that way in particular seemed more promising for secrets than what I found, I, I feel like. again. Two locked doors. Um, I may go I may go check that other one while I'm thinking about it. Oh shoot. I don't know if that's from Black World Tendency. I assume it probably is. Oh damn. I was hoping one of them was going to drop a key or something. Yeah, this door... This door has the same symbols. This is the same kind of door, just... Way more... Way more huger than the other one that I can't get into. I think that... I'm very close to pure black in this world. Uh, I may, I may try that. Yeah, yeah, might as well. I think I'll die a couple times and get it to pure black and then see if anything changes. Ah, oh, this dude's here. Do you intend to challenge the king? You may be a great demon hunter, but I fear you may not be ready. The king's defended by the black souls of mighty knights and a fire-breathing drake. I defeated even myself. 
That's how I ended up in the dungeon. Beware the limits of your own power. I wonder what the thought process was turning this guy into a giant onion. Beware the limits of your own Okay then. Okay. Pure black here now. Really? Yeah, I wonder why these guys spawn when it wasn't pure black. So I thought it when I was coming through here, but I never said it. This is clearly the inspiration for the area leading up to Lothric Castle in DS3 for the twin princess fight. And I'm a big fan of it. I love seeing kind of the birthplace of the ideas of all these games that I love. That's been one of my favorite things about this game is to kind of pick out these little details that they clearly built on in later games. That's been awesome. Okay, now, let's get to work. Okay, as you can see, I've switched my build up again. I really enjoyed using the big weapons in this game. Uh, something about the, the sound design and the ragdoll physics, just the crunch it made and like weapons flying all over the place. I liked it. I liked it more than in most of the games. But I went back to something that's a little more my typical play style, like a run and gun spell sword type build I've actually ended up with more points in the strength than anything at one point I thought I would try to get everything to 24 and call it the Kobe build it hasn't quite worked out for me but there's my stats uh, but anyway let's uh I've had way too much fun trying out different things and different builds and I've got several different weapons now that I've upgraded to max I've had I've had a, a lot of fun with the RPG elements of this game. Okay, I've scouted this room out, but now I gotta see what this gang squad is about. Let's duel, sir. You and I. Oh, nice. Okay. One down. This looks to be penetrating sword. And there's so much penetration going on in this area. Uh, there's physical rapier, straight sword. Interesting. That's super long. Oh. Shoot, I've angered everyone. Hold up, I'm getting ready to... Okay, I guess I should worry about these dudes and not my... equipment right now, huh? You are angry and you have a large poker. 
dude. That's a that's a serious penetrator right there. I want no part of that. Oh, this is a uh, Bjor. down tower shield I already have that sir all right it's just you just you and me now it looks like the white bow smash oh I love that kick I love that kick to the face. Yeah, I already have that too. Okay. That was fun. Kind of wish I would have just went nuts and fought all three at the same time, but that works. What, is, what do I see purple over there? Oh, that's a crystal lizard. I'm assuming I'll open that up later. And or this. Yo, I will say I've really enjoyed farming for upgrade materials in this game, but one thing is they're not created equal at all. I wanted to get a weapon up to plus five crushing. Those materials suck to farm. Suck. I, I've, I've got so many materials. I've farmed basically every lizard in the game multiple times. I've farmed all the enemies that I think drop the... Um, graystone stuff which is pretty much just like the rock worms uh, and nothing I mean oh wow that's a one shot okay let's run this back but pay attention this time okay dude up there shooting arrows I love the leap attack on this one. I like those ninja guys, they're fun to fight. And another one. Arsenal of weapons here. Okay. What do we got? We got any droppy downies? A ladder and a way out. That looks like one of those. Yeah, both of these. 
These look like the doors that I want to get in, but can't right now. Still working on that blue eye night armor, it seems. More fatties and more dragons, it looks like. There's been multiple points during this game where I uh, looked at some buildings and thought of Markarth in Skyrim. Especially that one. Okay, that looks cool. Real quick fire action now. How did that hit me? High frames for the win. I knew that wasn't happening. Okay, so. That's interesting. Okay, what's the play here? Maybe. Flame resistance ring. Excuse me, sir. Man. Plotting strategies. Um, I don't know, just go. Try to iframe this again. Once, uh, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, just get out, just get out. So glad there was nobody in here. I got real lucky. I thought he started back at the other side. All right, screw that. I'll um, I'll definitely have to get some of those items in case they're cool stuff later. But I'm not gonna mess with it right now. And now I'm gonna screw up all the feng shui and whoever's hangout room this is, right by the fiery dragon bridge. Actually, probably isn't necessary, but 
Of course. Once again, we got like Lothric Castle up in here. Holy, this is very reminiscent of the two dragons breathing fire at the bridge heading out to Lothric Castle. This is beautiful. This is so dope looking. Oh shit, that's a fire shine upon my lord. Dude. What am I supposed to do about that? I'm assuming Alright, I'm gonna assume that to save him I've gotta get up and distract the dragon or something. Because that looks like insta-death to attempt. Wait a minute. That's where I just came from. Oh, this is a shortcut. Uh, interesting. Okay, maybe there's another way. So it starts at the left, goes to the right. Oh, it's just right here in this one area. Okay, he's at like three quarters health, so. Um, well, what's up, dude? My father is up Not something like him anyway. I began this quest to ask my father his reasons. I'm kind of in a hurry. To drag him back to the path of righteousness. Please, kill my father. In his depraved state, he can only bring peril to these lands. This key opens Boletaria's mausoleum. Inside the mausoleum, the father's father's sword, the demon brand. Use it to bring an end to his madness. Okay. Uh, how much help do you got, buddy? There's too many different missions happening all at once. I would, I would really like to try to save that guy. Wait a minute. This is, this is just going away. How do I save this guy? I don't even have a bow. I don't understand. Um. Oh, I can target it. Shit. Um. He's about to die, isn't he? 
half health. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see what's up here. And then I'm probably gonna go back and get a bullet bow. Uh that's Phantom Octavius. Ending a sword in the air. That was too good. Okay, I'm fine with that. I wanted to grab a bow anyway and go back. Okay. My only goal here is to save this dude. Go, 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 go. Bow time. Ooh. Uh, let's try rotten arrows and holy arrows. gotta be a better way yeah this this is not worth it um, I'm gonna make one more I got one more idea though okay I'm trying to get into clever rat ring range right now that ain't gonna do it Gotta make sure this guy doesn't kill me though. Uh, that should do it right there, I think. Let's check it. Oh yeah. Okay. Now, I... I think I'm gonna try... from right here, because... I think this is closer. And hopefully it's going to do more damage. Alright, this is going to be my spot right here. Start with wide arrows, move to heavies. That's much better damage, but I gotta... Looks like I can only get one hit off. Okay, this is working pretty well, actually. He flew away anyway. I gotta go, I gotta go. That worked pretty nicely though. Uh, I'm gonna try to stay in this form, I think. I'm just gonna make sure I don't get hit by his freaking fire. Okay, now his health is reset.
Okay, health check. Where you at? Oh, we're doing good. We got the ship, bro. Hang in there. just did a lot of work for you man that took a unreasonable amount of time we managed did we that salamander was more trouble than expected i agree now you're going ahead you know me i need a nap i do know you That's i know you and your grandson your great grandson was quite a drain on me <laughs> reload see if he changes and then go grab the items that I didn't get at that first walkway where I, where he was shooting fire oh he's gone maybe he's back at the nexus this is kind of strange this looks like this is really neat from right here this view of like this arch and that walkway on the other side but it looks like it just goes to nothing looks like there's absolutely no purpose for that being there other than to look cool from right here I'm alright with it though there was nothing down here worth getting just a couple souls okay well, I don't know if there was something else I could have done there with that dragon, but I think that was worth it. I don't even know if I saved him. I haven't been back to the Nexus yet, but I feel good about it. And now I'm ready to get revenge on Estrava, aka Octavius, up here. I love the range on this attack right here. Watch this. It's gotta be one of the longest jump attacks. I don't know, the, uh, actually the Night Sword has a pretty good one too. get from your phantom body okay all right that was fun it felt like 
worthy revenge there, toying with him, and unfortunately I uh, already got the stuff he dropped, so. Uh, this is neat. This is a neat little set piece right here. I like this. I like this bridge. This is ominous. An illusory wall on the way out would be so cool. Looking like no, though. I'm gonna assume this is a boss. Um, hey, what the hell? I didn't do that. <laughs> it's like, you pussy. You took too long. Have a ride back. Okay. Um, I think I, I think I am gonna go back to the Nexus though. I'm gonna see if I save Bjor, and then I'll come back. Okay, unfortunately, I did not find him, but I'm ready to see what's at the top of this elevator. I actually really like how they only give you like a limited amount of time to get off. All right, well, I'm gonna assume I got a fight on my hands. Shit. No. Old King a lot. Um. Nope. I can't do it. I just remembered that I picked up a key from. Estrava. I've got to go check that out. I gotta go check that out. I gotta see. I, I, I guess I was thinking that it would be something on up here. But that looks like. That looks like potential final boss material. So. I'm gonna go back and check. Maybe it's for one of the two doors that I have in my notes that I wanna get in. So I'm gonna go back and check those. Okay, no bueno there. Okay, please. Oh, hell yes. Are you a friend? Thou who seekest the king's sword, I am the old king. Show me thy strength and the power of thy souls. I can target him. Prepare thyself, brave knight. Whoa, 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 whoa.
We could just we could just do tradesies instead. I got a lot of stuff. I wonder, okay, so he told me to get what I assume is this sword that this guy's using here in order to kill his dad, which I'm assuming is King Alant. But I'm wondering if you have to do this, so I've got to at least, I, I'm going to have to do some testing, assuming that I do get this sword from him. Or maybe it's that sword there, which looks like the same one. Uh, Okay. anticlimactic <laughs> this is the beefiest of all the boys holy shit <laughs> 18 damage Alright, something something's up here. Let's uh let's go with this. Let's try to get a parry. Are you really are you really just that beefy? Okay. I'm going uh Impressed one such as me, young knight. Okay, Jesus. I am old King Doran. Thou hast proven thy strength to me. Step forth and take the king's sword in thy hand. Demon Brand. I have a note from like the b very beginning of the game. Two swords, Demon Brant, Soul Brant. Solitary hero, Old King Doran, founder of Bulletary and protector of the two swords. So there's a there's a note from the literally the beginning of the game that I wrote that I'm, I'm now getting the answer to. Is that it? You won't talk to me anymore? Oh shit, 69 damage, nice. <laughs> I just wanted to take a swing at him, I didn't mean to backstab him. Uh, can I? If I just picked up Demon Brat. What am I missing? The less demonic the soul of the wielder the more powerful this blade becomes, the less demonic. So, white character tendency would make this stronger. And I am at pure black still, I think? No, I'm... Okay, I'm almost. I'm like it one step away from pure black. So maybe that's why I'm getting, like, negatives? Because, I mean, the way it is... That would be terrible damage. Because I'm meeting all the requirements. I don't know, but I'm wondering if he... I'm wondering if this is Demon Brant. I'm wondering if he has Soul Brant right there. I think I want to find out. No matter how long it takes.
the hardiness, aptly muted, is said to be the mark of a king. Oh, shit. Oh, and he freaking heals too? Are you serious? Ugh. Hmm. Might not be worth it. Gotta see what it, it You can't parry him with a talisman in your hand, I'll tell you that. I was gonna say I've gotta see what a parry does to him. I uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it. Um But I think I gotta try one more time though. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to get him to... To almost death and then he's going to heal up. And all this is going to be for nothing. I think I'll save that for another playthrough. I, it's definitely doable. It's just gonna take an insane amount of time, and after how long I took to kill that dragon, I don't. I don't think I want to mess with it anymore. So let's let's uh let's continue. Okay, for real this time. That was pretty cool. level drained. Does that mean I for real went back a level? I don't even know what level it was. But I think it's possible. Yeah, I definitely had 27 in strength. And I now have 26 in strength. That's the only thing, difference I see. Very interesting. Very interesting. That's cool. Okay. Well, I was messing around a lot, but... Uh, well, I guess that could be annoying if it happens over and over and over. But, uh... Definitely worth seeing. I'm glad that happened. Alright, for real, for real this time.
I want to see if he's parryable really badly. I'm thinking no. <laughs> I've tried twice. I tried once the first time. But I think I'm not going to mess with the parries. Okay. I guess I'm going to try this sword out once. Even though on paper it seems like it's going to be terrible. Let's see if it has some kind of special properties against him. Uh, it looks like a no. Okay, that combo right there is serious. Cannot get hit by that. Alright, time to get good. I don't want to end it with I don't know Ah uh, yeah I do
Yo, that was, that was, like, by far the most fun fight, boss fight, in this game. If that's the final boss fight, it's a worthy one. That was really fun. I liked that. I think the trophy said Fault King a lot. How did you defeat my demonic reflection? How many souls might you have devoured, I wonder? I think like two million something. The rest is up to the old one. If it is to be, then you shall be beckoned. Okay. That's in the Nexus. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I'm, re I'm, I'm, I'm in the zone. I'm ready to go. I'm not worried about what else I could do. I do kind of wish I'd have went and talked to the Monumental first. That was cute. I'm actually digging this kind of whole end game. It's pretty epic so far. The elevator up to the that last fight. Uh, now this looks like the kiln. Is this bitch betraying me right now? This is dope. This is this is really cool. How far can I run back this way?
So once again, we have like lots of ideas and inspirations here that went on to become clearly the killing of the first flame and then, you know, everything else that, that followed from that um, and, and leading up to the the end of the world, uh, the, the Dark Souls world, universe, whatever, and Dark Souls 3 when everything kind of converged at the end of the Ring City into a very similar looking place to this. Very cool. Very cool. I'm liking everything except the fact that this lady... I don't know what she's up to. Let us proceed the Lord to its lair. But it sure sounded like she was presenting me to it. Let us proceed I don't like the that. Lord to its lair. I don't like that. I thought we were tight. Now I feel like I'm being used. I can't take that again. That's how I felt in Bloodborne. At the end of it. You have been chosen by the old one. Will you seek the everlasting demon souls? Or has the monumental blinded you? Damn it, I wish I would choice. You are our first visitor. May you be welcome here. Okay. So that sounds like the choice is between the monumental and this thing. I'm assuming if I would have went and talked to the Monumental, or if I went right now, I think I could go back right now and talk to the Monumental, that I could potentially get another option. But you got to choose one, and I'm here, and this seems cool, so I'm rolling with this. Surely you have seen for yourself the pain and suffering that fills this world. But God is merciful, and so created the Old One, a poison to the poison. The Old One will feed upon our souls and put an end to this tragedy. Okay, um, King Alot, so I'm assuming was just talking to me. This is kind of a bed of chaos type deal. So I'm thinking... King Galant woke the old one and in doing so I guess... Kind of got consumed by it and is now in this state. And of course that was the fake one that I fought earlier. It was super fun. Now we just got this poor, pathetic creature. Digging these tunes, though. Wondering if there's anything I can do besides just beat him mentally. He's out of his misery. Wishes to go on. 
Oh, there's Soul Brand. Okay. Well, I'm glad I didn't take the um, insane amount of time it was going to take to kill that old King Doran for it then. Maybe this is Black Tendency. The closer the soul of the wielder is to a demon, the more powerful this blade becomes. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Thy work is done. Slayer of demons, go back above. The Nexus shall imprison thee no longer. I shall lull the old one back to slumber. Okay, so I'm assuming since... So she's saying she's going to stay... Keep the old one asleep. My thanks. Which makes me think that... At last. At last. The end is in sight. It makes me think that... um. When I go back, I'm going to have no choice but to go to New Game Plus because I won't have a Firekeeper anymore. Or I guess that's not technically true. I just won't be able to level up anymore. Huh. But, um... Chaotic evil path? Question mark. <laughs> the old one senses a new and powerful demon by its side. And before long, the world will be engulfed by the deep fog. Yo, that head stomp though. Curb stomp Rain for the end stars. of the game? Are you kidding me? In the Dark Lord. Hell yes. Curb stomp Dark Lord ending. I love it. I'm so glad I did that. Alright, I gotta I gotta take in the uh outro music for a second. Okay, so very quickly, I've been listening to the soundtracks lately while I've been at work of both the remake and the old game, and I've got to say, there's only one song 
that I'm kind of, I kind of hate that they changed as much as they did, and that's the Fool's Idol. The original Fool's Idol song is awesome, like probably my favorite of what I listened to of the the old game. It it's super unique and creepy, and I don't like the one in the remake as much. Uh, like not even close if you've never heard the original fool's idol one check it out it's just this really like discordant it switches between like a major and minor key tonality and i don't know it's like i really liked it soul of the old one and red eye stone okay i'm assuming this is going to roll me into new game plus Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Iron Fist. I keep that motherfucking thing on me. It holds together the northern land of Voluntaria. <laughs> always on my head. Thou canst not quit the Nexus, but the five archstones will guide thee to the outer lands. Sweet. Okay, well, I have nothing but good feelings. I have nothing but good feelings about the whole... About everything. I really liked that entire ending sequence, and I'm excited to, to check out the other potential options. Uh, but I really liked all that. That was pretty epic. Uh, overall, I had more fun playing this game honestly than I thought that I was going to I, I assumed it would be a little dated I thought that I would have to kind of muster up like a lot of enjoyment for it I knew it was going to be good but yeah it exceeded my expectations uh, I'm still interested in playing the original just to see the differences but I know that it's close enough to like accurately portray what the original was uh, just with, you know, fresh coat of paint, basically, from what I know about it. So, I I loved it. I'm not going to go too crazy on, like, giving a bunch of thoughts, but yeah, I had a ton of fun. And uh, I, I feel like it's impossible to judge these games outside of the context of the other games that you've played and even the order that you played them in. I mean, in the Souls games and Bloodborne and all the, all of them. I came to this game right after Bloodborne. And with Bloodborne, man, I went in with like three years of hype. And I took that game so seriously. And I like really tried to pay attention to every little detail. Tried to pay attention to the, the lore. And I tried to find every secret. And I put like 90 hours into the game uh, combing through every piece of it and then towards the end getting deep into the lore and trying to like figure that out and it was a blast because that game is amazing but at the end of all that I, I was kind of just worn out so this game I came at it with a whole different kind of mindset I guess I was just ready to nerd out I, I was I was craving the RPG elements that I had uh, I had missed a little bit uh, and there's there's just so many pros and cons with with all the different games, but they're all amazing in their own right. And so, you know, I probably missed out on some of the uh, the lore and things that I'll have to go back and and search for in this game because of that, uh, because of kind of the way I played it coming right off of Bloodborne. But there were there were lots of nights where I would just get on, 
and farm for materials and try out different weapons and think about different builds um, and most of it you know never actually came to anything I didn't use it but I enjoyed every minute of that so yeah I can't say enough good things about it I loved seeing all the original ideas that went on to be parts of the other games there's nothing really that I would criticize I mean I enjoyed it thoroughly it'll go into the rotation of from software games that I pretty much always have uh, going on in some form or fashion always always playing one or thinking about playing one and so it's very nice to have yet another addition to that another game that I love that I'll probably be playing for as long as I play video games and I've got to end with a shout out to all my souls bros I think my guy Ruben was the first one who recommended this game to me based on playing it back in the day my boy Nathan bought me this game because he was so hyped that I finally got a PS5 I got it in the mail from him like three days after I told him that I'd bought a PS5 and I played it and got to witness it and all of its graphical brilliance on a monitor my brother Cody Van gave me for no damn reason at all except he's a swell guy so if you guys watch this at all if you're hearing this you're the realest I love you I've now kind of exhausted all the games that any of you wanted to watch me play which is really all that I cared about so I doubt I'll be putting anything else up, maybe until Elden Ring comes out, and even then, I don't think I'm going to do any more of this long form type stuff, it's just, I don't have the time for it, nobody wants to fucking hear me talk for 40 hours worth of a game, that's preposterous, but whatever I do next, I think it's going to be a lot weirder. I don't know if I'm just going to go full ASMR and try to give people the brain tinglies or if I'm going to skip straight to OnlyFans and break out the nipple clamps and just get extra weird with it. Who knows, but for now, I think I would like to take the time that I've found to record and edit these damn videos and put that towards trying to hang out or play games with you guys more. I think that sounds like a good idea to me, so. Big spooches. All the homo. Later.